I find that that's really what Masaro is, is it's uh, a place for you to come and create relationships and do that in an atmosphere that really helps you learn and grow, which is why we have things like our learning garden and why we encourage volunteers to come and harvest with us and why we invite people to come to our farm and just spend time here. And, you know, we want people to be part of this shared communal space that we have and, um, you know, through that hopefully it'll make a change and and the things that we find important, like keeping farmland open and, and feeding people that have a need and even maybe helping the environment. Uh, well, I guess I think that farming and organic farming on a smaller scale is important to get more food out into uh, local communities, supporting local economies and uh, regional economies, and um, just getting people more familiar with where their food's coming from and different types of vegetables and fruits that might not be found in the grocery store. The thing that brought me to this farm was the fact that it's a nonprofit and that it is both a working farm and gives back so much to the community in the form of food donations. Um, <clears throat> I first became aware of food justice about six years ago and the fact that so many people just may want to improve their health and improve their lifestyle but they just don't have the access to those things. Um, and so the fact that this farm is both growing and giving back is what brought me here, what drew me here in the first place. Um, and you can think that you eat healthy but when you connect with where your food is actually grown and the people who grow it and um, there's so much more of an impact and influence that happens on the daily decisions you make about the food you eat um, that it's transformative so um, I think everybody should try to eat seasonally.